Bruce Naylor. Um, the Conficker worm has certainly getting a, been getting a lot of press, and rightfully so. This is a dangerous worm, folks. Now, if you haven't heard of the Conficker worm, also known as the down at up of uh, worm, uh, what it is, this whole thing is to basically get in uh, and then stop malware uh, software from running and prevent you from going to websites where you can scan for uh, malware. Now it's estimated that over 10 million PCs have been infected by the uh, the Conficker worm. Microsoft issued a, a $250,000 reward to find those responsible for introducing this thing, and uh, there's a partnership um, with Microsoft or with uh, ICANN, ICANN, and uh, NewStar as well, uh, as well as Semantic, uh, Arbor Networks. Uh, to stop the, the, the worm once and for all. Um, Conficker has been spreading since November, and as I said, its main thing is to disable malware protection and block you from going to scanning sites, but, and this is the purpose of this video, what happens in stage two? This is a two-pronged show, because Every day that an infected machine is, has a Conficker worm, it is talking to about 250 command centers out there waiting to do and get instructions for something else. And this is the legitimate scary part. There are these 250 command and control servers around the world. <clears throat> and uh, so... <clears throat> The policy that uh, Semantic has is to target the um, the update mechanism of the Conficker worm, and uh, also while unique the name name servers or DNS servers that are used for Conficker may be constantly changing on a daily basis, the Anti-Conficker Coalition anticipates that the uh, major DNS name registrars uh, uh, working collaboration might be possible to take those domains out or otherwise interfere with the smooth flow of Conficker updates uh, right now. So this is the scary part. We have a virus or a worm, 10 million or more machines infected, 250 command control centers out there. Um, we've got DNS servers that is going to, it's constantly changing to get the, the it's it's marching orders, if you will. It's really taking a huge effort to stop this beast once and for all. You can protect yourself against the Conficker uh, worm. I did a video on this, but the main thing is, of course, is to make sure that you keep your system fully patched and up to date. Make sure that the malicious software removal tool from Microsoft is employed on your machine. Take caution and uh, uh, take prudent steps on there. Right now, you've got flavor A of the Conficker uh, worm, but it's going to change to flavor B. And what happens there? You know, I don't think anyone really knows for sure. Um, it's a scary thing out there right now for sure. If you have a Linux machine, are you safe? Yes, you are. Uh, if you have a, a Mac, yes, you are. If you have a Windows machine, properly patched, updated, and uh, using the malicious software removal tool, you're going to be fine. But there's millions of people out there just don't keep their machines up to date. They're getting infected with this thing, and you know bad stuff's going to happen. And uh, uh, but want to let you know, beware of, of part two of the Conficker story. This thing just continues to get a little worse and worse as time goes on. Just want to give you a heads up on that. Bruce Naylor, your frugal tech, always love to hear from you. I'd uh, like your thoughts and opinions about the Conficker worm. Uh, so leave a comment here at YouTube or uh, send me an email at support at frugalbrothers.com. I'm Bruce Naylor. Remember, if it's in your shop and not making you money, get it out of there. We'll talk to you later.